Back in the garage today. In the garage. Back in the garage. Back in the garage today. What's going on guys? Back in the garage today working on Brian's 2020 KTM 1290 Super Adventure R. Today's video I'm going to show you how to delete the secondary air system. We went with a stage 3 kit from Rottweiler because Brian is only going to ride his bike off-road or in competition use only because that's the only reason you're supposed to use this. Uh, a couple of reasons to put it on. Uh, we're basically going to eliminate some fail points on the bike so less to go wrong with it. It's also going to lighten it up about two and a half pounds something like that and we're doing a Rottweiler air intake so it only makes sense to do all this stuff at once. So let me show you the kit and then show you how to get started. If you need to know how to take the tank off, I'm going to link that video up here. That'll take you to that part. If you need to know how to remove the air box, I have a video on that on my bike. I can link that up here as well. It's exactly the same even though it's a different model but same uh, air box. So um, let me show you what's in the kit and then we'll get to work. Okay, so this is the stage three kit. Uh, we are also going to be putting in the uh, Rottweiler fuel dongles. So those are the block off plates to eliminate the O2 sensors. With the stage three kit, you get this additional tubing and this is gonna run off the throttle bodies. That way if you ever wanna sync those, it makes it a little bit easier. We also have uh, some dongles that we're going to need and the block off plate. So let's get to work. Just one other reason to remove this stuff. We're actually going to be taking all of this off, all these hoses, all the solenoid. So when it comes time to do valve checks and spark plug replacements, it makes it a whole lot easier to get to this front cylinder. We're also going to free up some space in the back of the bike because right now there's this charcoal canister back here. Once this gets removed, you can use this to put tools or in my case, I keep my air compressor back there, whatever. So it's not a real big performance upgrade, but it is a great convenience upgrade. All right, so starting out on the left-hand side of the bike here on the rear cylinder, we're going to use, you can use a Torx. We're going to use an eight mil T-handle to pull these two bolts out. And this should just pop right off of here. We're just gonna move that out of the way for a moment. We're gonna use this first Rottweiler block off plate and on the back one, it's gonna go in this orientation and then we're gonna reuse the two uh, factory eight millimeter bolts and get this put in place. All right, so we added a little bit of bling to the bike with this block off plate. Now we are going to fish this hose up through or we could just cut it off. Uh, but we're gonna get it off here in a minute. But before we do that, we're gonna head over to the other side, put the block off plate on it. All right, so now we're on the right-hand side of the bike with the front cylinder. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to remove these two 8-millimeter screws. We're going to reuse them, and we're going to put our new block-off plate in place. All right, you can see we've got our front block-off plate in place now. Make sure it's in the right orientation with the R, you know, kind of, you know, facing toward the front of the bike. Now we're going to pull uh, all these hoses up and out of the frame because we don't need them anymore. All right, so up front here, you can see I've already unplugged. Uh, we do have this uh, connector here that was connected into the solenoid up front. Just uh, squeeze that together and disconnect it. And now we're gonna put a dongle in here to fool the computer into thinking it's still connected. So let me get that out of the pack and show you what to do. Okay, so before we plug this dongle in, I'm gonna take some dielectric grease on both sides here. That'll just help seal out water, dirt, those sorts of things. Get your dongle out of your kit. Just plug that into place. Then we're going to tuck this out of the way, but we do need to pull all this hose and stuff out of here. We're just going to kind of fish it out, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's off the bike. All right, so these are all the hoses and solenoids we took off the front. In order to get this off, I just junked this clamp and disconnected it, and then this will pull up through the frame. I uh, got a few more steps though to eliminate the rest of this air system. All right, so moving around to the back of the bike, we're going to concentrate on this charcoal canister. I, this is a uh, this is a T20 bit. We have a, a screw on each side. We're going to pull those out, and then this pops up out of here. Next thing we need to do are disconnect these two hoses, and basically, you might need a. Oh, they pop right off of there. Now the fun part is we have to trace these two hoses up to the front of the bike and remove them. We don't need them anymore. Don't throw them away. We, we may reuse them for something here in a little bit, but not for the purposes we were using them for. Okay, to aid in this, I just went ahead and pulled this fastener out. These are the hoses. So we're just gonna literally pull those down through the frame. 
you're going to have a little bit of gas residue in them. It's just going to happen. And then we're going to follow them on up to the front here, and I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, so next up, we're going to eliminate this solenoid, which was clipped on here. You just push it back. First thing we're going to do is unhook this plug here. Uh, we've got something else we're going to use in its place. And then, you know, we can pull these hoses the rest of the way out. These hoses do run on up here. I'll kind of show you, you know, what we got to do up here. But let me get this unplugged and get this disconnected. All right, so with this pulled apart, this is, this is the connector here. It's easy to recognize that it's orange. This is what's included in your Rottweiler kit. So once again, I'm going to treat this with dielectric grease. This is going to plug in to this connector. Once again, full on the ECU. You're still going to get any other codes that, that it may, you know, diagnostics may pull, you're just not going to get the emissions codes. Now if we look up here, we've got hoses running into this Y, and then if we come on down side, uh, alongside the bike, you can see we've got this little rubber piece here. We're just going to go ahead and disconnect all of this because we're going to run a little bit different hoses off the tank later on. So we're just going to set all this aside and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll route our new hoses here in a second. Okay, so we're removing this heat shield here. It's just a simple zip tie cut here. And then that bolt we pulled out back here. And this is going to be really tough to show on camera. Because we're doing the stage three, we are going to run new hoses off the throttle body um, up here where these hoses are running in, which are sitting behind this engine brace here, which is going to be tough to see. I can show you the finished product, but they are running off of this solenoid up here. You can see the hoses come down through. They split into a Y and then go into each throttle body. We're eliminating all of that hosing and we're going to use this uh, yellow hosing from Rottweiler, get those put on, and then we're going to uh, cap them on the end. So I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so I'm going to do my best job to explain this. So this piece was sitting in here. We had this hose that was on this nipple back here on the rear throttle body. This piece ran between the throttle bodies and hooked on to the front throttle body on the right hand side. And then this piece ran up into that little solenoid. We unhooked all of this and there's no way for me to show you guys on camera. So I am going to run the new hoses up with the block offs on each of the throttle bodies and show you what that looks like. And since they're bright yellow, hopefully we're able to show that on camera. All right, so we've got our hoses run off the throttle bodies. You can see where I've got them coming down the frame here on the left-hand side of the bike. Just zip tied them off. They give you a couple of block off screws, so you just thread these in to make sure you don't have a vacuum leak. And if we follow this one up to the rear throttle body, you can probably see, you should be able to see down there where it's on that one. This is, this is, the, uh, this is the short run. The longer run, I've got running up through. It goes in between the throttle bodies. You can probably see the yellow tube and then yeah, let me see if I can get you a better look over here. Again, it's going to be a little hard to see, but you can see where it's running in there. It's sitting right behind that uh, the engine frame brace there. So anyway, make sure you use some hose clamps on them and then make sure you, you use your uh, block off screws. All right, so for the plug where we eliminated the canister, I've just zip tied that down here to the frame so it's out of the way. Same thing up front here where we put that little dongle in, just zip tie that up out of the way. Look how much more room you have now to get to your front cylinder, which makes this super nice. So we're pretty much done uh, eliminating the secondary air system on the bike. Uh, we are gonna replace uh, the O2 sensors. We're gonna put some block off plates in there and use the fuel dongles that Rottweiler's provided. That's an additional thing you can do. We do have one more thing to do on the secondary air system. We did have hoses that ran back off the tank to the charcoal canister. We're no longer using those, but we still need to vent the tank. Uh, we're going to take care of these O2 sensors, then we're going to take care of the air box, and then we'll wrap up with you guys showing you how to, you know, do the, do the couple extra lines that need to run off the tank uh, to vent the atmosphere. If you want to know how to do the fuel dongles, I'll link that up here because I've already done a video on it previously. So I'll uh, be back with you in just a few minutes. All right, so we're done with the secondary air system. Now something I can't totally show you, uh, but if you've taken your tank off before, you know you've got the, the two vent hoses up top. All we did was run those down and they're popping out right down here now. They're just venting to atmosphere, meaning if your bike tips over, it overflows, whatever, it's just going to spill out on the ground or or maybe in your skid plate, but um, it's not gonna go back to the charcoal canister anymore. All right guys, so that is how you install the stage three secondary air system delete from Rottweiler. 
on your 17 on KTM 1290 Super Adventure R or Super Adventure S model, exact same process. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about anything we went over in today's video, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'll also link this specific kit down there so you can find it. It's not an affiliate. I make nothing off of it. Just want to make your lives a little bit easier. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.